When the man was walking by the sea, he accidentally found a fox in the distance. The fox was wrestling with a cat. The fox roared and opened its bloody mouth to bite the cat, but then an incredible turn occurred. Jimmy was born in a coastal city in southern Turkey. And he loves to walk along his hometown's quiet beach at night, enjoying the cool waves lapping his ankles and the fine sand under his feet. At that time, there are hardly anyone on the beach, so Jimmy can often enjoy the peaceful and beautiful sunset alone. Jimmy originally worked in London, England, and he has long been accustomed to the fast pace and hustle and bustle of big cities. Under long-term pressure, Jimmy chose to quit his job in London and move back to his hometown in order to relax his mind and body. For Jimmy, the quiet Turkish beach is an excellent place. After a day's work, Jimmy always comes here to enjoy the tranquility and freedom. On the beach, Jimmy can often see birds and lizards of all shapes and sizes. A keen amateur photographer, Jimmy enjoys photographing them in various states and collecting them in his wildlife photography portfolio. Today, while walking, Jimmy noticed an animal a little further down the beach that he had never seen on the beach before, it wasn't a bird, it wasn't a lizard, it wasn't even a stray puppy lying around, but a fox. Although Jimmy is used to seeing foxes and often see them sneaking in the alleys of London's back streets, when Jimmy lived in London before, foxes used to break into the community, rummaging in bins and rubbish dumps, hoping to find good things to eat. But the fox on the beach didn't have the beautiful reddish-brown fur he had seen before, but was unkempt and dirty-looking. However, this fox looks very lively and young. Jimmy said, you can find foxes in a big city like London and they are a beautiful animal to me. But on the beach in a quiet village in Turkey, I never thought I'd see them. So I was surprised when I spotted a fox in the distance. What really caught Jimmy's attention, however, was that the fox was playing with a white ball that was rolling around in the sand. And when the fox kicked it with its back feet and grabbed it with its front feet, it rolling and screaming, the white mass looked like it was struggling. Since Jimmy was too far away, he couldn't see what the white mass was, so he moved closer slowly and quietly. Hoping to get a good look at the fox and what it was playing with, but when Jimmy getting closer, he found that the white mass was not garbage, nor was it food for the fox, but a white kitten. The two animals were rolling on the beach and seemed to be in a life and death battle. Fearing that the battle would end in the death of the cat, Jimmy considered whether he should stop the cat and the fox from fighting, but after thinking, Jimmy was decided not to intervene because it is part of nature and it is impossible for a fox not to catch prey, after all it has to survive. Jimmy said, the fox doesn't look like it's playing with the cat, it looks like it's hungry so I think the fox is going to eat the cat. It looks scary, but the fox has to eat. The fight continued and the fox appeared to become very ferocious, with its claws and fur flying in the air. During this time, neither animal made any hissing or growling sounds. Jimmy witnessed the battle, but there was nothing he could do. He was very worried for the safety of the poor cat. He watched helplessly as the fox pinned the cat to the ground and opened its mouth wide to reveal a row of sharp, drooling teeth, the cat's little head was almost in the fox's mouth, and Jimmy thought it was over, a fox's bite was almost twice as strong as a cat's, so there was no suspense in this fight at all. Jimmy felt his heart pounding as the fox bit the cat's head. But he couldn't believe what happened next. Jimmy pulled out his phone and started snapping some pictures so he could explain the incredible thing to people. In fact, these two animals are not fighting, but playing very friendly, and they are having a good time. Their behavior is very close. They stick together, bite each other tenderly, pat each other, they are like good friends for many years. This is indeed a rather strange picture, 
and it also made Jimmy a lot of questions, why do they play together like that? Where do they come from? Are they really friends? Although Jimmy didn't have any answers, he enjoyed the very rare and unusual sight before him. Jimmy said, it's really interesting to see these two completely different animals playing together. They chase and fight each other. This kind of picture makes me feel very cute and very warm. However, something even more incredible is yet to come. Jimmy discovers that the fox and the cat actually ate together. They caught a fish and tried to drag it to the beach, where they could enjoy the fruits of their labor together. For the fox and the cat. The seemingly fierce battle is just an after-dinner entertainment game. This kind of game narrows the distance between the two animals, and they are like brothers and sisters. Jimmy continued to observe the fox and cat, even following them on the beach. When they seem tired of fighting, they walk side by side to their little home. Jimmy would watch them there every night after get off work for the next few weeks. He observed that although they are two completely different species, they get along very well with each other, they spend time together, they sleep together. They hunt together, they do everything together that people can't imagine, the fox and the cat are really cute. They are like a pair of very good friends. Over the course of several weeks, Jimmy photographed the amazing experiences of the fox and the cat. In this way, Jimmy hopes to let people know the kindness and gentleness of foxes, because many areas consider foxes to be a nuisance species that needs to be expelled or even brutally killed. Later, Jimmy posted a photo collection of foxes and cats on social platforms. And more and more people began to pay attention to them. Foxes and cats have also become small celebrities, but people are always curious about why there is a relationship between these two animals. Such an intimate relationship. Actually, it's not hard to explain. There will be feelings between humans, and the same will happen between animals. The feelings between animals are often purer than those between humans. Foxes and cats seem to be two completely unrelated animals, but in many parts of the world. Foxes and cats are often seen fighting ferocious wild dogs. An unusual friendship. They are all wandering in the wild and will always encounter many dangers. Being friends can ensure that they can survive better, because when one is in danger, the other will always stand up without hesitation. Under Jimmy's records, the story of the fox and the cat is known to the public. This warm story makes people realize that even two animals that seem to be completely opposite can also become good friends. Human beings with the most IQ and EQ are all alone. Isn't this a kind of sadness?